Because, as the title of this video says, we are going to be doing um, my makeup back from high school. Um, so, I bought a couple items, and then there's items I couldn't find anymore because high school was like 11 years ago for me. <laughs> um, at least from freshman year. So, um, I just have a few things that I am gonna extra things I'm gonna use in here. Start off with my foundation because that's what I did. There was no such thing as primer and uh I did wash my face beforehand. Um obviously start off with a clean face. My mom was a Mary Kay consultant um growing up so I did get a lot of makeup from her, so that's why when I say that I couldn't find some stuff, it's because I used Mary Kay because I used either her makeup or she gave me something that would go with my color. Um, so I have this Cover Aqua Smooth and it is a full coverage because I did have acne in high school and I applied it with the sponge all over my face or if the sponge got dirty I got one of those disposable wedges and just use it till it was super cake with makeup so yes I reused the sponge because I didn't know any better <laughs> so I do apply this all over the face um, I never really applied on my neck because I am a pale ghost with red cheeks so I just always did my face and yeah. My mirror is over here if you're wondering why I'm looking that way, so I'm sorry. Okay, so that's all done. And then I'll go on to my concealer. Now the concealer I used was some sort of cheap stick. Um, I could only find one from CoverGirl in my color. So um, that is what I'm using. And this one, oh I didn't tell you what color. So the color I used was Classic Ivory. And I used light pale. Now they're probably similar in color because that's how it was. Um, because I wasn't taught any different. And yes, I would apply it like this under my eye and then around my nose and then anywhere I had acne. So like my acne spots in high school were on my cheeks and I'd get a feel like on the hormonal areas. Um, but because... I'm an adult and I outgrew a lot of my hormonal acne. Um, I really don't have much. So then that's what I do. And I use my ring finger because I was to told that the ring finger is the weakest finger so it doesn't do any damage to your eyes. But that doesn't mean it doesn't spread ickies all over your face. <laughs> I just blend it all. And as best as I could. And then I'd move on to the eyes because I'm not done with the face yet. But I, for some reason I moved on to the eyes. <laughs> so, now this is something I don't have anymore. And I don't, because I try sticking towards cruelty free. Um, I have this e.l.f. palette and I always use two colors with one brush. Um, I'm trying to find my brush. And this is probably the exact brush because I kept a lot of my brushes. It was a flat fluffy brush. Um, and I would use a sparkly color that was close to my skin tone so I'm going to use Pave in this e.l.f. palette. And I'd wipe it all up to my eyebrow bone like that. 
I do the same over here. And then I would take like a gold color or a copper color. It depended on the day. Um, so I'm going to use Penny since that's like the closest. And it had to be shimmery too. It's the closest gold copper. And I would blend it on the outside of my eye. And just go in like that. Because that is what... My mom taught me. <laughs> and it wasn't always the greatest. But basically I'd start from the outside and pull it in and end up being all over my lid. <laughs> like that. And I'd most likely stop it there. Unless my mom or my stepmom would say, you need to blend your eyeshadow. And then I'd go back into the bathroom at the end before I could leave and blend my eyeshadow. <laughs> and then, I was so happy that they actually have this. Um, because I might just turn back to using this. Because this is actually one of my favorite eyeliners to use. It is by Physicians Formula. And it is the uh, Fine Tip. Um waterproof and it also has eyelash serum in it um gotta open this i have class in 10 minutes so um and it's virtual because of all the stuff going on so i'm trying to hurry as fast as i can Actually, like did something different to the packaging but it looks like this got a tip no let me turn you in so you can see what I'm doing so I'd start by making because at the time I actually did watch Candy Johnston at the time she I remember her saying to start at the end to make a triangle And then I'd start here, make my line, and then I'd shade this all in. God, this is so weird because I haven't done my eyeliner in forever. Like this. Okay, so then I do the other eye. I have my best to make them even, but I don't even think they were even in high school. Um, and then I had one of those cheap eyeliners, which I do have because I like to keep one in my purse when I would do my makeup um, for work. And I line the bottom line. cat is crazy. Yeah. Okay. So then that's how it would look like. And then curl my lashes because I actually knew that you could do that at the time. But I wouldn't like curl them all the way. And that would be it for my eyes. Yes, I wouldn't wear mascara because I didn't like it getting on my glasses. Um, and then I would take a brush. Watch. That was and my it. bronzer were Mary Kay products. So I have this Burt's Bees. And I would use this actual brush. Pop it up. And just apply it back here because that's how I was taught. Apply it back here. And I do the same thing on this side. And 
and that's my blush. And then my bronzer actually had a brush that came with it. Um, this one doesn't, so I'm just going to use this e.l.f. blush brush that I have. And I wore it like this right underneath. And then I'd put it on my temples like this because that's what I was taught to do. Um, and then sometimes I dust it on my nose because I'm extra. Um, and then they actually had this. I was kind of surprised. Um, I used this Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation as a tramp as a setting, I guess you would say, and this one's in 120, um, and I'd actually, I wouldn't, I don't think there's a thing, um, I actually used, uh, Mary Kay brush and just applied it all over my face. And that's how my face would look like. Some days I'd wear either chapstick, nothing, or I would take a lip liner because I didn't like lipstick. I didn't like it getting on everything because at the time they didn't have lipstick like that. And I would just color in our whole lips. And use my finger and rub it in. But it was a color that was either a little bit darker or the same color as my lips. It was never an X because I couldn't afford that at the time, huh? It was some cheap, cheap color, but this was my look, and then I put my glasses on, if they're clean. Um, my hair was not like this. I actually had bangs, and I would wear it at a side part, but this is my makeup look. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm posting once a week. Bye-bye. I'm going